My name is Ian Gill and I live in Udemore Road in Rye. Um, my wife is the minister at Rye Baptist Church and I also run a sports shop in Hastings. I've got two children, uh, the twins and one grandson who's not very old, he's only five months old. I studied as a musician and I play the cello. I tend to play that when I'm not at work um, and I also play in church on a Sunday morning uh, as part of my worship and as part of the worship in the church. I enjoy playing the cello a lot and I also enjoy playing locally in various orchestras and also nationally in orchestras as well. I was born in Hastings many years ago and uh, I was born into a, into, into a loving family, uh, not Christian that I would be aware of, but at a very early age I started to attend Sunday school at the local Methodist church. Um, and then we always used to go and visit my nan straight after church for a glass of lemonade and a chat and hopefully to pick up sixpence as well, which was rather nice. Uh, so that's really the very early years. Then music really took over my life and I stopped going to church eventually. Uh, I eventually met Fiona, who is now my wife, and we, having decided to get married, we started to att attend a church in Hastings, an Anglican church in Hastings, really just to get our bands read and, uh, and to be able to be married in the church. Uh, she too had been to Sunday school and we just felt it was right to go to church and eventually we had our bands read and we were married at St Helens on the Ridge in Hastings. The subsequent years saw no real change in our lives except she was always busy dancing including on a Sunday and I was busy playing my music when I wasn't at work. The birth of our children was marvellous and we had them christened not particularly for, for any faith reason but we just felt it was right and eventually uh, I started going to church it was uh, a bit a bit of a surprise to me but there was a friend of mine from school days who had written a, a cantata for Easter and he said he would write a cello part for me, uh, which I uh, readily agreed to play if he wrote it, thinking that he wouldn't write it because he probably wouldn't. But he did. And so I, I went along and played the cello part that he had written for me, which was fun. And the church was very accommodating. So I ended up going and playing with the, with the rest of the music group in that church. And eventually Fiona and the children started coming along as well. We attended that church for some time. And uh, then eventually we, we ended up going into Robertson Street, U United Reformed Church, where again I started, I was playing with the music group. Uh, eventually I, I decided I wanted to move churches and went to Battle, Battle Baptist Church because I met some good people there who were good musicians and uh, I wanted to, to basically I wanted to play with, with them yeah. and to and to rekindle some of the experiences that I'd had at a local um, Christian festival uh, so I ended up going to battle and Fiona stayed at Robertson Street for a little while and then she eventually joined us at battle. Fiona decided to train for the ministry and I was fully supportive of the 
of her decision to do that. Uh, and obviously still am. Being the vicar's wife is, is, is quite fun, actually. It's quite fun. Um, I've been very fortunate in the, in the fellowship we have at Rye. Everybody welcomed both of us with, with open arms, but uh, I haven't found anybody that really wants me to make cakes yet. Quite wise they are. I, I just enjoy the life here in Rye as well. This is such a lovely town and everybody is very friendly. In the course of my work, I've come across quite a few situations where people have asked me to pray for them and I've not really been aware of why they wanted me, me specifically me, to pray for them. Um, I've had incidences when I've been on the delivery where people have said, I'd like you to pray for me because of various circumstances that were happening to them at that, at that time. And um, also, I seem to get very uh, interesting experiences when I'm, when I'm away, when I'm out of the country. In Italy, in a, in a market, there was a man just handing out, handing out Bibles to people and I just felt I wanted to go and shake his hand and say, well done. I just felt it was right to encourage him. And as I shook his hand, it was quite an amazing experience. It, I just felt almost like a surge of power rushing through my hand into his. And it was, it was a remarkable experience. We had a good time when, when we actually went, when we went to Romania. We helped a struggling church in Romania. Uh, and we took our instruments over and we helped them with their worship and we encouraged them, their worship team to play and we were shown round and given lots of cake and lots of tea. The cake was very good. In, the, in my musical life I've certainly come across uh, the occult, um, particularly uh, witchcraft. I was invited to attend a, a, a witch ceremony or wicker ceremony probably, I think it would be probably more correct, um, which I was actually going to go and attend. Curios curiosity was, was more the, uh, the motive there and uh, I didn't attend it. Instead I actually went up to uh, the, the local Anglican minister's house and asked for prayer instead which I think was probably the best thing that I could have done at that time uh, but it was interesting to know that in this day and age people were still actively practicing witchcraft and were actively recruiting as well it was certainly was not uh, just a leisure activity it was there was something very real about what they were what they were doing and they really believed that they were summoning spirits that I don't want to even think about um, not a pleasant experience not one that I recount easily what I think I found most helpful was that I had decided I made the decision to go for prayer rather than to go and attend this witch initi initiation ceremony. Uh, it was only afterwards I discovered that the initiate was actually going to be myself and that me not turning up had scuppered their plans. So I was particularly grateful to God at that point. I was particularly late home that night and I think I probably got into a fair amount of trouble, but I, I, it was the right thing to do. I think trying to identify if there's been any change in me as be becoming a Christian is quite hard for myself. I can only recount that other people have said to me, 
we noticed a bit of a difference in, in the way you behave, in the way you react, in the way you do things. And I think I find that quite encouraging. I think, I think the biggest thing is in the music. Because there's such a difference playing religious music as a Christian because it means so much more to you. It's difficult to actually put into words, but you're not just playing the notes anymore. You're actually playing something and you're, you're playing the words. Somehow, as a, as a Christian, playing, for instance, the Messiah, it means so much more to me, personally. And when you're playing with a with, with a a whole orchestra of, of Christian people, the feeling is so different, it's so, so much more almost intense, so much more almost intense. It's, it, it's difficult to describe, but it, 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 there's a feeling that everything that you play, every single note that you play, is a, a worship to God. I've been lucky enough to to play with um, All Souls Orchestra in in London. And there, when the rehearsal starts, everybody prays, which is just something that just doesn't happen generally. I also feel musically that I've been blessed by God with a talent for playing the cello and I feel it's only right that I offer as much as I can of that back to him uh, and also that I use the talent that he's given me the gift if you like that he's given me uh, to help other people worship him and that's how I view the playing that I do in church uh, I, I feel it's Honouring to God, excellence is only just good enough. So I would say I really enjoy the playing on a Sunday morning, but in a totally different way to the enjoyment I get from playing a concerto or a symphony or whatever. I think church is a place where, where, where you can go if you just want to meet people. It's a non-threatening environment. If they want to sit down for the whole service, they can sit down for the whole service. They don't have to stand up, they don't have to pray, they don't have to do anything they don't want to do. If only people can get past the front door, then they will find themselves in a place that is fun to be. If someone were to say to me, why should I bother with Christianity? I think my initial reaction would be, why not? If you haven't tried it, don't knock it. The biggest thing about being a Christian is being a normal person. Just being being yourself, but being yourself in a, in a godlike manner. Christians are not a different type of person. And just a normal load of normal people who love Jesus. <laughs>